All right, 184. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Story, first off, confirmed. <laughs> Which makes me feel I know, like that, I feel like I'm a telemarketer. I'm like, first off, it's like Kevin Ryan's old baby. He's like, let me just tell you right now, everything we do here is legal. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> this is 100% true. No, but it is. Okay, so what happened is, okay, so in good old Kensington, oh. <laughs> right off the bat, you now know why I know about this. Like, those fucking idiots didn't leak this immediately. <laughs> well, leaks in the Iraqi They're tweeting Navy, it. dude. They're, God Oh, damn. my God, dude. Holy shit. Well, speaking of Iraqi, so <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. They start tracking a house because neighbors around this place will start calling this house that's owned by Iranians. And Sick. they notice a lot of like uh, like foot traffic in and out, not always Iranians, whatever. So the cops start sticking out, this, that, and the other. Then they start getting like backstories on a couple of the dudes. It turns out they're here illegally, and they are basically running a uh, child sex ring because they see them walking out with little kids okay and what they do is they track that they fucking get whatever rich dude paid for this thing to go to a hotel like yeah. you know give the screws to him all they have to say is like we're gonna arrest you and this will be in the newspapers sure so the, he obviously is now telling him here's the number i call here's where it's yeah, from yeah, yeah, yeah. like he gives them up immediately how long do you think they sit on that like the until, cops, like when the cops see what they think is a child. Well, they have sex to confirm rate. what's actually happening. Yeah, so it's like I just wonder how many times they see like kids going. But then, in and out but then they saw businessmen. They saw businessmen showing up there. Okay. All right. So then, classic businessman with his business. <laughs> Just walking into Kensington, like, mm. like well, there seems like a good whorehouse. I wonder night. if there's any children around here. So they go in. The cops obviously have enough at this point. They go in, and this is, I guess, like a month ago. They raid the place. They fucking they're looking for the kid. They go upstairs. They find the kid in the room. Turns out not a kid at all. It's like a seventy year old man, and he's wearing a kid mask. And apparently, Wait, what's a kid mask? That's what I want to know. <laughs> like Chucky or something. I don't know. What's a kid mask? <laughs> I have no idea. It's like it's like. If, <laughs> Is it like a baby with one hair coming out of it? Like, like goo goo gaga, dude. I don't know. Like, what? is he holding a big lolly and like powder blue, like no, no. puffy pants? Like, I'm a baby, dude. But the the guy is like the 70 year old guy who's like 5'3. They're dressing really? him up. And apparently, like, these dudes that were playing didn't know. I was like, I'm talking wait, 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 70 wait, year old. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Of course I'm they don't know on. now. Hold on. So men mm -hmm. were coming there to have sex with a child, mm -hmm. and they were having sex with a 70-year-old man. Dressed with a kid mask. Dressed with a kid mask. Those Iranians. Those are some desperate you. dudes. In <laughs> Kensington. Like, dude, I got to be honest with you. Yeah. I've never smelled a 70-year-old man's ass or a kid's ass, but I guarantee they do not smell. And like, there's no way tell. the door knocker's not. That's, yeah, that dude. brain's hanging low. 70-year-old 5'3". Or like fucking a fucking tangerine in a sock, dude. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's like two <laughs> pool balls in a dress sock. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> also, dude, yeah. So like, he's like, what at my ankle? He's 5'3". His nutsack's like 5'1". Dude, but that's also got to be the crazy... Like, I feel bad for that 70-year-old man. <laughs> Because yeah, you like know, because man. you know that seventy-year-old man was like, "I'm gonna grow." Like he had such a crazy trajectory of what his life was gonna be. He's like, "Oh, like, what do you think?" He's like, "Yeah, man. It's like I'm gonna come to America. Everything's gonna work out. I worked hard my whole life." And they're like, "Put on this fucking bib, Oshkosh bagosh." Oh, and he's like, "What?" Yeah, dude. No. So, uh, so they <laughs> they're like, "Okay, all right." And this story, I said this to my friend, which I was like. I feel like this is like it's like in the ring. Like you're passing the curse to me because after I heard it, no joke. First time I heard it was a few weeks back, and I I was like, oh, all right, fuck it, that's crazy. Then it started like sinking in. It was like haunting me. Dude. I was yeah. like, oh my god. But I have a question now. Yes. Because <laughs> because this I got was, a few questions. This was a child sex trafficking ring, and it turns out it's not a child. No. So it was just one seventy year old man they were pimping out to have people fuck old rich dudes so in how Philly. Did, how does Classic that? Classic Philly. Damn, dude, that's the old Kensington switcheroo. <laughs> I'd rather die a heroin. Gee, yeah, I think Seriously, most of them did. If you're like, what happened in Kensington? It's like, I fucked a seven year old man. Now, boy. let's, I mean, I'm with you on this. Know. It's like, they didn't know whatever. Right? Maybe 
some idiot didn't know. Either way. You don't think that guy put a, ate a bullet the minute the fucking cops told him? Because you know the cops did. Yeah. You know the cops just went there to ruin his day. Be like, by the way, it was a seven-year-old guy, you dumb shit. Go birds. <laughs> just like, walks out. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? He's like, yeah, you thought it was a fucking like, kid ass? Ew, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the chief of police. Like, oh, you fucked that seven-year-old dude. You fucking idiot. You didn't idiot. notice the Gary Shandling ass tattoo? <laughs> That's how you. What? That's how you know he's Gary a Gary ass tattoo. It's an old, t- old, old Larry Sanders. Yeah, look at that on his ass. You think a baby's got that? Hey yo, <laughs> the Shand man all over your dick, <laughs> dude. If, he, if they were like, yeah, Theosal did have a Gary Shandling tattoo <laughs> on his rectum. It's like on his what? ass cheek. I'd be like, that's uh, a true fan. I think that's that baby may be a little bit older. I mean, I just don't understand. I got to see the kid mask. Oh, the kid God, mask yeah. is what I got to see. Yeah, I can probably get that. Dude, I th- <laughs> he was like, hey, man. Just fucking- now you understand why. First off, the, what part of the city I told you. And then I was yeah. like, you think they weren't fucking live tweeting that also, at the scene? I think it's kind of crazy that any self-respecting businessman is like, you know where I'm going to go for the best kid That's ass. what they do. They get bored with their money, dude. They're psychos. That's yeah, they but if I was – Fucking blood and Honestly, stuff. if I was a businessman, I would go like to Dubai actually. I would go somewhere where there's actually child what trafficking. Dubai. Child trafficking. I would be like, uh, I wouldn't go to Kensington and be like, yeah, I'm going to go to this place. Yeah. They got the best kids. I can't imagine it's my first stop. <laughs> like, you know <laughs> what? Yeah, child exactly. sex ring. <laughs> yeah, climb the ladder. I'm like, putting out a map. Like, we got Kensington here. Ooh. <laughs> it's like, I think we can Not stop great it. reviews. Can we stop? Yeah, the Yelp reviews on this are not very good. <laughs> Ew. It says here, ass smells like 70-year-old man. <laughs> that can't be good. I, I, check the date on that ass. That it's ass, spoiled. That's a little bit spoiled. So I think, I, you know, it's crazy to me to think that, like, Iranians are like, let's get it. Dude, I also think it's, like, crazy that Iranians are like, all right, let's get it. Um... So if you don't have any kids, uh, what are you doing? He's Barry, like, we have an offer. <laughs> I, you haven't really done much to, for the group. To be the group, the guys in the Iranian group who come here, they're like, all right, let's make our fucking way in America. They're like the Earp Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> but instead of beating up Billy Bob Thornton, they just fucking have a seven-year-old man <laughs> like, we got get a- fucked in the ass. <laughs> it's like, we're on our way, boys. <laughs> it's like about 25% of the cut. <laughs> In your ass? It's like, damn it. I just can't believe. And it was only one? Uh, it was yeah. the only. Jesus. Well, one of them. Yeah, I'm sure there was other stuff going on in that house, obviously. Yeah. Um, sure. Yeah, but it's that's like the animal like, house of kid but porn. That's, but it's so crazy. They're like, all right, yeah. I think they found child pornography, obviously. Sure. That's the appetizer. Yeah, that's you get, like, you know, buying toys before you go to the store. Yeah, club. <laughs> you look, but you want to try on. <laughs> You, you gotta, gotta try it on. You gotta go upstairs. You're gonna see what look you okay. Well, I'm gonna tell you. You think it's a 70 year old man? Your eyes are fucked up. <laughs> Just don't look at his face or balls. <laughs> don't look at his genitals. She's hot though. <laughs> <laughs> she's got it all, dude. dude. She's got some swangers. And I was like, dude, what? How do you dress a 70 year old man to look I, for, like? You a know kid? what's fucked up? I immediately go like Bo Peep. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I think big, everyone does. <laughs> Just like over the top. It's like, we got to really yeah. sell this guy. He's disgusting. And I don't even know if he's Iranian, but a 70-year-old Iranian, I can't imagine, is the Oh, maybe he's like skin. Hezbollah. Oh. Dude. Yeah, dude. I didn't realize. Is that kid, is that dude like 45 or something? He's uh, 19. Are you serious? Oh. God, he creased me. It might have been him. Now, imagine that. I mean, he's gonna go, dude. He's on a bagel bo- bagel boss run. Oh, dude, he's on. He's living his best life. He's yeah. He's, he's like, capitalizing. He's gonna, he's gonna die soon, right? He's got he, like yeah. some crazy. Yeah, he'll needs. he'll troy her out. Yeah, dude. He's about to, there's. I I gotta imagine. But you top know, height. He's at it. Has bullet. Might go a is, couple more inches. There's no way he hasn't tried to fit his whole head in a vagina, dude. There's guaranteed. no way that he hasn't been like around chicks. He's like, I'm gonna try to do this. So. That's got to be fucking crazy. But he's still, it's weird because it's not like um, that typical, like, you can tell he's older. You know, like Yeah, Bert he just Schroeder. has that fucking yeah. young face. It's like face. a baby face, but it's not. Yeah. It's weird. So you got to be comfortable with fucking a child, too. Exactly. Like, you got to be okay with it. 
Yeah. And that's got to be weird to I see. I was like, dating some chick from my right. <laughs> She's some, disgusting. Some chick who's okay with a baby with pubes. Dude, but do you imagine, like, leaving there with one of these, like, I'm assuming just rich, ri- <laughs> Regular white, rich guys. House. Like, look at this place. I hear they have a very delectable child. Oh, God. And just being like, what a great night. <laughs> <laughs> just walking out with the boys like, you fuck. He did, dude. I mean, you got to go somewhere and cry. Dude, you know? you know they all got in the car. They're driving back. They're like, oh, man. That was a seventy year old guy, wasn't it? <laughs> just like, I'm just gonna say it. And then we're never gonna talk about it ever. All in again. silence, just like That was a seventy year old man. <laughs> what? I, look guys, I understand we were all having It was on the radio. <laughs> it's like <laughs> <crazy tune. laughs> Anything. <laughs> Some tune. I would. I'd on, crank a Heaven is a place on earth. He's like, yeah, Belinda. Yeah, right. The crying game comes on. I'm that like, might have been a guy. <laughs> that that girl's dick was huge. I'm going to tell you right now, that butthole was not <laughs> a child's. Like, I'm not a butthole connoisseur. <laughs> it's like, look, I know. <laughs> look who you're talking to. Yeah, dude, I wonder if they'd bring in, like, a tester, like, Doing a cocktail. He's like, wait a minute. What's that cut with? <laughs> it's like in Goodfellas when he gets caught. The cop's like. <laughs> yeah, he's like, it's pure. <laughs> but pure 70-year-old butthole. That's a fine 70-year-old. That's a man's butthole. Dude, yeah, a lot of rings around that like, tree have stump. To have, also, I got to think about. There's. If you're wearing a child mask and you're in the room, it's got to be, like, weirdly lit and there's probably strobe li- They probably do whatever they can to, like, make you See, I go opposite disoriented. with that, too. I assume it's going to be some creepy Disney shit or, like, you know, Dora the Explorer or something. Like, they make it like a kid's room but over the top with everything. Sure. But that's also, like, I'm just saying. It's got to be creepy. Even if you walked into a well-lit kid's room and you saw a seven, like, hey, what's going on? I wish it was, like, an old man's den, just, like, yeah. wooden boats. <laughs> it's like, yeah, this chick's trying hot. Trying to put a ship in a bottle, like, hello. <laughs> goo goo gaga. Like, Happy oh. days is playing. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's a baby smoking a pipe, like. <laughs> you ready to fuck? I'm a, ca- I'm a child. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. Would you like the Hot Wheels, sir? <laughs> oh, no. Dude, that would be the weird... Like, But that's the thing. I guess if you are going to break down and you're like crazy enough to have sex with a child, you... You're, I mean, if you're that rich. Yeah, and your brain, your brain's like, yeah, it's a kid. It was a kid. I'm telling you, it was a kid. It's like, I don't know. You, no, you just keep I telling yourself, like, when you see, like, a UFO, like, that was a UFO. That was definitely, like, everyone saw that, right? And you're like, well, that was a 70-year-old man. Like, no, man. That was, that was a, <laughs> what? That was a, that was a child. Grow up, man. I'm telling you, man. Se- I would know a 70-year-old asshole. <laughs> like, you think I'm a fucking idiot? <laughs> yeah, I pulled out eight figures, dude. I get he it. He pulls the butt plug out like it's a cork of wine. <laughs> He's like, we'll have that. <laughs> this guy, like, you might want to let that breathe a little bit. <laughs> He's holding the the dude over his arm with a white blanket, like, yeah, you are. Oddly enough, that's how the guys sound when they fuck him, just like great lady. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's got to be a thing too. Like, what is the guy saying when he's getting banged? Like, <laughs> like I hope nothing. That what I'm saying is there's he's no like, way, ah. there, there's no way the groans are guys. childlike. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's like my oh. my dad getting off the couch. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's a knee. That's the knee. <laughs> that's him bending over. That's kid mass <laughs> bending over. He's dropping his like, not this one. Dude, that's insane though. Now he gets now he just gets arrested for being a whore. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's literally gonna get arrested for prostitution. <laughs> Cause he's of age. He's just But then again, me. it's also like those other guys. Here's my another question. It's kinda like the the to catch a predator thing. Those guys were soliciting sex from what they thought was a child. So sure. So definitely. Oh, they'd still get charged. With, yeah. With with intent for a minor. Intent, like that. but they didn't actually have sex with a child. So that yeah, they're in there like, yeah, dude, you should charge me for that, please, <laughs> yeah, please, please don't tell anybody. Seven year old man. <laughs> 
It's like, that's 25 extra years. He's like, I'm fine. Look, I'll do that standing on my head. Here's the thing. I have a reputation to hold up, okay? <laughs> well, also, if you want to go to jail, you're like, no, tell the homies it was a 70-year-old dude. Don't tell him that kid stuff. <laughs> you're just going in like, look, I know you guys think I'm in here for some heavy shit. <laughs> yeah, I know but, what you guys do to pat our asses. But the thing. I... Should have known right then when I saw the saggy ass cheeks of this 70 year old man. Yeah, there's some dude who looks like Brooks from <laughs> Shawshank looking at you like <laughs> from across the When I went in there and he had a fucking dick like a melted candle, I knew right away. <laughs> He's like, that crow wouldn't leave his back. <laughs> hanging out. When I saw it was the only baby I ever had sex with a back brace on. <laughs> I knew right away that I was in deep trouble. You kept asking about Imodium. <laughs> Dude. It's just weird. Look, I was I like, got, I was into it. Look, I got to be honest with you. When I went for a blowjob and I saw the baby take his teeth out, I knew I was in bad trouble. <laughs> He started telling me about a bookie, right? Yeah, I don't know what he was talking about. He said something about the AARP, and then he sucked my balls. <laughs> yeah, he had to go because the wheel was on. <laughs> he did suck my ass with a crazy straw, though. That's where I got confused. We were talking about old episodes of The Honeymooners. <laughs> Very knowledgeable, that, that young girl, that young boy. Yeah, dude, if he's got- Everything's like for whatever reason he brought up the 1994 World Series. <laughs> he was there. <laughs> he was there. He's working in the front office <laughs> for the he Blue put Jays. the chalk down on the fucking field. He yeah, knew dude. a lot more than I thought he would. He actually traveled with the team. <laughs> Pretty good job. For whatever reason, he knew about the Minnesota North Stars. <laughs> Kept talking about his his brother, his his younger brother, Shoeless Joe Jackson. <laughs> he really played for some kind of baseball team or something. It was weird when he said he was the Jim Thorpe of fucking. Yeah, and he's like, he's, it's kind of weird when he told me he graduated with Jack Palance. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that dude's butthole probably looked like Tommy Lee Jones' oh face. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. That was not a good asshole. And you knew it, like you knew it wasn't. I mean, let's think of it this way. How many buttholes or how many how many dicks does like a can a like a regular butthole take a week? A right re- oh, I don't know. I don't know. I never seen one. Now let's just think that a seven what, year a butthole? old butthole? No, like a, a really blown out butthole. Uh, no. Now think of a seven year old man's butthole. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way a guy, any dude who's just like, yeah, maybe I've, it's my first Those time. Those are the guys you hear when they craft it. <laughs> they make it very maybe, well known. Maybe these pedophiles are like the dudes that you sell oregano to. For <laughs> Bond, they're like, yo, get in there. It's a real good fucking kid to fall, am I right? Dude, no, these dudes are the ones that like, they're breathing so heavy after their first poop. <laughs> they're like, ah. <sighs> You're just, in a truck stop. It's just like, oh my God. <laughs> we knew it was a. We should have known something was up when he came out of the bathroom with a newspaper underneath his arm. He's <laughs> like, "Don't go in there." Also, Looney Tunes on yet? <laughs> yeah, dude. Sorry. Yeah, but he watches like Steamboat Willie. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I was like nineteen when that came out. I'm like, God damn, dude, wasn't that like nineteen yeah, twenty or something? His favorite character was fucking Betty Boop. We should have known. <laughs> I was a senior in college, and that depression hit. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, you should have known something was up when he had Omaha Beach tattooed <laughs> on his shoulder. <laughs> he stormed <laughs> He stormed He was there for Operation D-Day. <laughs> yeah, D-Day. Dude. D-Day, dude. That's what they call him the shop. <laughs> they storm his ass. He's like, drop the bomb, <laughs> fat man. He's like, let it burn. <laughs> Dude. That's got to be the craziest thing. You look at it like this because you know the cops went and either arrested or ruined the rich but guys. I also wonder if the cops went in like to try to get a child. They're like lifting over, like, come on, come with me. And they're like, wait a minute. Yeah. Dude, this they probably came in. They're like, are you okay? 
They're like, oh my god, son, are you okay? And he turned around. They're like, oh god, what the fuck? Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. They start shooting. It. <laughs> they're like, sorry, sir, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, dude. Can he's you? like, take your shirt off. He's like, oh. He's like, one minute. <laughs> he's like, I'll be with you in a second. He's listening to Goodbye Horses, dude. Talking his ween. He's like, okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Look, don't look directly at it. <laughs> Comes over with a pack of Winston up in his t-shirt sleeve. <laughs> don't look directly at it. It's going to mess with you. It's like Medusa. <laughs> I hope I turn you to stone now. I'm telling you that. <laughs> There's a minotaur in there somewhere. Oh, my God. God damn it, dude. And that's the craziest part. I hope it was just like a small Italian dude from South Philly. He's like, all right, let's go. <laughs> well, yeah, geez. we doing this? He's doing this? Yeah, you just want to come in my face or what? <laughs> yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah. Uh. Mm. Christ. God damn it. You I yet. knew they weren't going to drive that linebacker. <laughs> hey, you call that dick? <laughs> Wait, Pittsburgh? <laughs> Pittsburgh, dude. Oh, uh, my God. Yeah, so. And the lineup, too, when they finally take him to the police department. It's like, is he there in, like, the lollipop? Like, what? Just like, there. It's just him and, like, Beetlejuice from Stern. <laughs> That's the only people. <laughs> Wait, so it was only one? Uh, yeah, the one they thought was the kid, because they obviously put all the attention on the kid. Okay. That's, they kept seeing kids, so they just assumed either one, it could have been a different kid, because obviously he was, like, covered up when he was leaving the house. Sure. He was, like, Michael Jackson's kid. Blanket? <laughs> yeah. Damn. But then, you know, they, so they, that was obviously a priority, so when they busted the house, I know, I'm pretty sure they found all the shit. I didn't get that detail, because I was too fucking blown away by the... Walking in, and this thing's dressed like the others. <laughs> I mean, that just kills you. Like, that's got to be like, I don't know, man. I I, I don't know. What that's got to gotta fuck you up. What? Just seeing like a seven year old man, like, yeah. hi. I'm like, oh, <laughs> just like, oh my <laughs> god, girl. This guy, like, look, man, I've come across a lot of things. Oh. I remember there was a triple homicide where somebody lined up <laughs> this, all. This that. is the guy talking the <laughs> whore. Yeah. He's like, look, I have seen some shit. <laughs> He puts it out on his arm. Like, All right, <laughs> just on his you ready to fuck my ass? I'm a child. Dude, he just comes in like Barnes and jerking the jack, smoking his cigarettes. <laughs> Y'all talking about fucking? He probably, he probably look like Barnes, dude. dude. His butthole is Barnes, dude. That is reality. <laughs> <laughs> telling you, dude. That's gotta be the craziest thing because you know the cops are like they don't even want to talk about it. There's no way cops nah. want to talk about that dude, either. This is probably why they didn't go to the press with it. Number one, yeah, it is a dude. terrifying story. But number two, it's like, like you know, obviously they're still investigating. Dude, that's got to be a ball busting case too. Oh. They get back to the fucking precinct, like Officer Ramirez, how was cracking that child pornography <laughs> ring? Am I right, you fucking idiot? <laughs> yeah, I was dude. a seventy year old man. How's that feel, dude? Yeah, right. They walk in like they just got back from fucking active duty and nom. They're like, what? <laughs> they got the thousand yard stare, dude. It's like, what'd you see? It's like, just staring at the TV. It's not on. <laughs> Shaking. Like, don't think about it. He's like, I should have been there, man. <laughs> we never should have gone there. <laughs> we were just kids, man. Oh, could you imagine that's the first case you crack as a rookie, too? Dude, that, a rookie walking in there, like, a fucking walking in the louse. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> and, and the fucking door knob. Like that scene from Seven with the fucking guy. All oh. like, fucking, just like, what is this, man? That thing's alive. That's like a fucking lie. Oh, dude, when fucking O'Neal was like, you yeah, got, dude. You, you deserve it. Ah! <laughs> yeah, dude. 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 I dude. just couldn't imagine, like, also filling out all the paperwork for that. It's like, it was a 70 year old butthole. We were confused as well. I'm kind of pissed it's not. I mean, it's eventually, but also it's like, dude, Kensington has been a fucking anchor for tons of it. I don't even what? know how long now for multiple things. Obviously, the heroin, whatever. But this, they're just like, this is it. We yeah. have to literally cut that part of the city out and just let it drift down no, the man, school. I would hole. say sometimes when I, I, I know about things like this, and this is going to sound terrible, but like when I know that like parts of our city or parts of other cities are just like beyond saving, sure, you should just be like, oh, you want to do wild shit? Go there. 
let it sort itself yeah, they out. probably Just were like, like what are you iranians so sex rings like yes like kensington <laughs> we got it's like place. ellis island <laughs> but i also th- you said they were illegal right uh the the guys yeah so that means they're getting deported back they're definitely getting deported so it's like what are you doing back it's like yeah it was crazy america was a wacky <laughs> so here's the thing i had sex with uh how you say so many fucking that'd be, businessmen that'd be funny they sent the seven-year-old south philly guy back to him. he's like what the hell <laughs> The hell I'm, I'm, oh, I, I, I lived in America. <laughs> Look, I was just trying to make a living with these guys. I hooked up with them. They're pretty fucking good. This fucking, fucking hot over here. Seventy year old fucking kid. He showed me the way of the ass. <laughs> Dude, pretty fucking good. <laughs> That's what the movies are <laughs> the called. way of the ass. <laughs> <laughs> when they eventually make this documentary. Like, damn, dude. There's some good docs coming up on Netflix. There was that one I was just watching. It's called Phantom. I thought I saw it before, but I guess I, I didn't. It's about a dude who convicted of a murder in 83, but apparently he didn't do it. And then... So wait, is this a wrongful arrest type thing? I can't tell you, because the, the one attorney, or the one DA that did the tried the case uh, in 83 was like, yeah, he was an idiot. He definitely did it. <laughs> He's like, I didn't do it, man. They're like, yeah, he did. Man. Like, He's like, all right, you got me. <laughs> well, you're a fucking chameleon with these questions. I, I think I was saying this yesterday when we had Ryan on, but uh, it's funny with true crime because you know me. I'm fucking in everything. But I see the shift coming right now with the documentaries, which is there's still going to be obviously true crime forever. But there's a lot – there's a shift coming where there's a lot, it's a lot more about gullible how, how, white how women. How dumb you are. Gullible white women. Yeah. And, <laughs> dude, they're getting crushed, yeah, dude. dude. I was like, dude, a couple of them, like the uh, Tinder swindler and the vegan chick one. It's like, I, why would you? I mean, I get it because you're, you're obviously in debt because this guy rules. <laughs> but, <laughs> and so Netflix is paying you. But it's like, dude, yeah. that number has got to be high. I for bet me to be like, okay, that's got to be, you know, that's got to be the number if you were fucking that 70-year-old midget <laughs> whore. <laughs> dude, go public with that. I'm yeah, like, dude. you need to pay enough to where I disappear. Yeah. I will. I actually go. Oh yeah, I'm gone. I'm, I'm leaving the country. Never You'll never back find again. me. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I wonder if there's going to be a new documentary called like The Zodiac, but it's all about a dumb white bitch who got confused for the fucking like Zodiac, <laughs> like in the sky. Oh. Like oh, and that's when he took all my money because he said the House of Capricorn was rising. Dude, you know what's crazy? I was thinking of this too, and I because I saw it on uh, on Instagram. I follow War Mode Store. Shout out War Mode, but they have a uh, their merch. They have the new the this dude did a Zodiac thing. It's just like what he sent to the press with the yeah yeah the, the puzzle, but in the middle in like red letters says it's sick. It says War Mode, but um. I was laughing because, and this is not like it's Billy's fault, but I was like, dude, I wonder if fucking uh, mass murder like called somebody and just decided not to kill him because they were super retarded, like super dumb. What the victim like, was? Yeah, too they stupid? feel bad. Oh, like, geez. yeah, they're, they're like, prob- you, oh, God, that's dude. probably happened. I wonder, dude. And if people are like, why do they? He's like, I don't know. He's let me go. <laughs> too, too He's an- eating glue. He's like, too oh. annoying to kill. <laughs> He's like, where'd you get that knife? I used to have it. So does this van have four-wheel drive? <laughs> My dad like, has it. Get him out of here. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. It's like, I don't even want to kill him. I just, we actually were going to take him hostage, and we just let him go because he's fucking stupid, dude. Are you fucking with me, man? <laughs> Too stupid to kill. I felt bad right up front. Can that, um, uh, what's that kid's name? Little Rasmola? Hasbulla. Hasbulla. Does he talk? Yeah, he talks. Is he like, like a, is he like Vern? He's like, he hey. sounds very yeah. He's real crazy. He's up so he's blasting like he. But I also think it's crazy. Like starting up a go kart <laughs> or a weed whacker. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but I now who's the other one that he tries fighting all the time? There's two of Beetlejuice. Them. No, there's another fucking. He's yeah, bulled up. No, he has an arch nemesis. <laughs> what? What, it's, an- it's another Russian it's nesting another, doll? It's, an- <laughs> <laughs> it's just a Russian nesting doll. He's like, you motherfucker. I knew you'd be here. It just falls over. It's not even real. Get up. Get up, you Hasbulla. son of a bitch. Yeah, his name's Abdu Razik. Abdu Razik and Hasbullah. So they have an arch ne- nemesis with one another. Um, no, they are each other. They are. Or, yeah, whatever. Either way. I get it. They're That's each other's matter. rivals. Uh, are there, look what? What the Wait. fuck? Oh, okay. Now, this how is old hilarious. is that child-like man? <laughs> that might be the dude from Kensington. <laughs> he was yoked. Like, let's get it, guys. 
How old's that fucking? Hey, I seen you at the gym before. <laughs> Squats, right? <laughs> yeah, let's go. I'm gonna bend over. Yo, every Thursday, back and shoulders. Look at my ass, though. <laughs> so, do they fight? No, they never fight. Why they not? Just, they show like people like the whole thing is like separating two dogs barking at each other. Like every time I see it, it it's looks like, like two dogs just fall asleep. It's just like one guy like, "Come on, you wacky kids, get out of here!" Where's the here. Where's the one? Is that uh, dude Indian? The no, they're both Russian. They're both like, Russian. The, oh, really? Dagestan, dude. That's, oh, you know it. what that is, man? That's Chernobyl, dude. That's fucking. Yeah, they're probably that's, born in Chernobyl, dude, dude. That's definitely the fucking radioactive. I bet shit. he's got a fucking elephant's foot as a dick, dude. <laughs> What if his bull is packing the bull, dude? I don't know. Uh, they're both 19. Well, I, I thought you were 18. right about to give us their dick sizes. Like, they're both <laughs> three and a half soft. Well, they're Tick-tack. both Reddit, man. <laughs> they're both three foot three inches. So What? Damn. That is crazy. This Kensington whore could have fucked dude, them up. he could have been a <laughs> butt-fuck millionaire, dude. I mean, that's just insane. I mean, not that they're that small, but like those two you could pass off. Yeah, dude. Obviously. You know, throw a little rouge on them. <laughs> <laughs> what throw a little rouge. Dude, you <laughs> you as a baby whorehouse, madam. <laughs> it's all dudes that are like 30 <laughs> like put midges. A, put a little rouge I on I might it. run a midge dude, whorehouse. Dude, you had curlers in your hair like girls. <laughs> yeah, I'm the mama son. <laughs> You go with her now. She suck your dick. <laughs> no little boys have green eyes. <laughs> I'm just floating around this brothel. Like, Wait a minute. It's just a garage out back at my aunt's house in Wildwood. <laughs> <laughs> then you, you're like, oh, oh my God, it's fucking hot out there. <laughs> it's so hot. No ventilation. <laughs> Cops pull up, you have curlers in here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Can we get that guy that patio furniture out of there? You don't even have a patio. Every one of my family members has patio furniture in their face. I'm like, you don't own a patio. Who was this for? The like Super Bowl a couple of years ago. Remember, I borrowed them chairs. They never, no one ever returns chairs in my family. Dude, uh, my fucking parents have. They rented uh, tables and chairs for my brother's thirtieth birthday, mm-hmm. and then the company went out of business and never came back for them. So now we have like eighteen folding tables. What, this is the regular folding chair Dude, stuff. Like, like yeah, like we have. Yeah, like, yeah. 56 of them they're all in the basement my really mom, yeah my mom but my mom loves it because it just gives her oh an excuse. dude parents love chairs gives her an excuse to host more parties at her well my house. dad will always be like go downstairs there's a couple chairs <laughs> I'm like no just keep them up here it's like why would i do that nobody's using them. i'm like i don't give a shit it's like you gotta entertain me oh be on God. point with that shit i know that's why i'm glad they redid that whole house because now it's like the uh, kitchen island's huge, so it's like nine chairs around it, and then oh, the big, yeah. the huge couch. So That's it's like the best way to go. But sometimes, you know, it's big. There's some big ones in my family, dude. They take up a couple. Dude, have you ever seen somebody using two chairs at once? Uh yeah, at a bar. It is, uh, stools. It is VFD or uh, American Legion actually walked dude, into that. That, that was is, two ass, one ass on two stools. It's pretty crazy to see. Yeah, he was. He had no neck. He looked like Jabba. <laughs> But like, if he was like, but you know, was a, a plumber, a, but a veteran, yeah, <laughs> veteran no, job. He didn't serve. He's like, I wanted to, nay, gay. <laughs> yeah, I was gay. <laughs> I told him I was gay. No, yeah, but uh... <laughs> this one guy's like, look, I wanted to go to Nam he real was like, bad. He was like leaning on it, but you could tell he needed oh, it. Yeah, he, he couldn't needed. do just was... one. It wasn't just like a random stance. It that was, was his, uh, his cane for the most part. Dude. Oh yeah, and dude, those guys. But they sit there all day. They sit there for nine hours. And they spend maybe six bucks and have 37 beers, 60 hot dogs. I don't know. That's a life, dude. That's a life. Dude, they get it. They have no idea what's going on. <laughs> they love it. I, dude, I can appreciate that. Like, literally, that is Every VFW and fucking American Legion. I don't know where they get these ESPN channels, but it's like ESPN 83. I'm like, what is dude, that? ESPN, it's just dudes throwing darts at puppies. Dude, it's like, what is going on ESPN here? ESPN Classic is the fucking jam, dude. Oh, yeah. You put that on. I love get, ESPN Classic. It's, like, it's the best. Honestly, like getting bugs to come to a zapper. Old guy's like, what's that? Dude, I remember I was watching ESPN <laughs> Classic a couple years ago. And Soder came on because he does the voiceover for some of that stuff. And I was like, I can't listen to this. <laughs> I was like, dude. I mean, he's Soder good. did it? Yeah, yeah. He's done a couple. Uh, I think he did one or two, but he did a voiceover for something. I was like, is that fucking Soder? 
And I'm just waiting for him to be like, bees. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> In the middle of like a Montana documentary. Dude, there was one time I remember I was watching uh it was like in mid two thousands and it was something about World War Two and they had a bunch of it was like letters that soldiers wrote to like home before they died at D Day. Oh yeah. And Rob Cordry was one of the voiceovers. Oh, I remember this. And it was so funny yeah. hearing like all these like, said, distinguished guys like and Penelope, I love you and I just want you to know. Yeah. That. I will be returning. And it's like, and he never returned. Yeah. And, then it's like, and that's when I thought <laughs> the bomb blew up and blew my hand clean off. It's like, Jesus Christ, dude. Why are you? Why did you get in this fucking thing? <laughs> like, we needed to be real. Okay. Not every guy had an amazing voice. <laughs> like, I miss you. <laughs> God. Or like a dude with a bad stutter. He's like, well, 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 well look, I got to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. Uh, These f- damn, fucking no, no, not, the Nazis. What was that? That was. I remember watching. Yeah, dude. That. It was fucking. Wild. It was like. Le- it was called like Letters Home or yeah. something. And. Yeah, there was some fucking crazy I always ones. hate that shit, too, when they always do a fucking... Uh, do you have, did your grandfather have letters that yeah. your grandmother saved? Really? Uh, well, that was what I was telling you. I found, uh, so, a couple of months ago, I found three things that I never knew about. Like, my dad and my grandfather never brought it up. Like, oh, why yeah. Did, why didn't no one bring up? My grandfather was a championship marble guy. Yeah, marbles. Mar- a champion, champion of marbles. Mm-hmm. I found a bunch of... Wallet sized black and white nudes of just yeah. women. I was like, awesome. fuck yeah. And then I found. 70 year old man. Dude, just, you know, was, this babe was hot to like, try. Wait a minute, dude. South of France. Look at that ass. That's a 70 year old ass right there. But I also found like certain letters that he, I guess he had wrote to. Uh, he wasn't married yet, so he wrote them to like his family. Sure. But like. I can when I re- read them, I hear my grandfather's voice, so I only I don't know what he sounded like when he was younger. I just hear him as like, "Oh, come on now," like that's yeah. how he sounded. But I also think it's funny when you see a documentary about a voiceover, like from a dude from a different time. They all have that same type of voice, like really yeah. distinguished. But to, to think not that mine. Like, yeah, <laughs> not my no way. Definitely did not have distinguished voice. Like I guarantee, hey, asshole. <laughs> that's, that's I guarantee, verbatim. My grandfather's like Jesus fucking Christ. Oh. Good, Mary. No. You will not believe these fucking this oh. lands coming out of the sky here. <laughs> Dude, it's like, the only letter that either of my grandmothers got was my mom's mom from the government saying your husband's been captured behind enemy lines. It was party time for those two. Damn, my, dude. Dude, he told my dad. Like, he was like, you get to England, you might have a couple uh, brothers, sisters over there. You know what I mean, Mark? He's like, I was like, what? He's like, hey, he's telling me that when I was, he was drunk. And I'd be like, what'd you say? He's like, nothing. I believed him. I rem- apparently, my grandfather did tell, like... My grandmother, he's like, look, all of them did. It was, he was like, it was a time of war, like that was like his excuse well, not, for most anything. Of them weren't like, married, yeah, yet. man. I guess most of them weren't married yet because they're all like sixteen. That's what the I mean. Majority, and then you know, but a lot of them got married super young too. It'd be like right before they left. But apparently, she had asked like what he had done in like the South Pacific. He's like, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. He's like, whatever it was, it was times of war. It was like, man, I don't fucking know what the that's hell sick that they can classify having asian whores as yeah. <laughs> times of look you times of war stand it it's times of war war you know what i mean wait stop grilling me did you fuck a 70 year old man's ass it was a time of war dude yeah. i thought we were gonna die uncle sam needed me dude i bet you that guy look like uncle sam <laughs> he's like fuck my ass <laughs> i want big, you he's just like come on fuck me in the ass <laughs> whip out that hog let me see your star spangled banner dude gross <laughs> um, Jesus! Yo, shout Christ. out South Africa. <laughs> we got a good couple messages from them boys. What? Yeah, because the opening to the Patreon, the new one I made is because um, I took off Mad Mike, sure. RIP Mike, and oh, I'm yeah. using the cabbie. He obviously like fell asleep at the wheel or something. Sure. He crosses and then it, and then it freezes at the ejected. guy. Well, which is um, hard to watch. It's that's apparently that's in you. South Africa because they recognize the cab yeah. or whatever. He's like, that's my uncle. He's not what, good he at can identify him in the sky. He's like, there he goes. There he is. There's Rich. <laughs> Richie. <laughs> so 
horrible driver. Damn, man. Who gave him a license? It's, it's, Zanies it's, it's very day. easy to get a license down there. About it. Yeah, so they're like big fans from uh, South Africa. They're like, hell yeah, that's a South African guy. <laughs> I'm like, cool. Sick, dude. Fuck. <laughs> that's what you hear the Shit. Fuck. Damn it. Yeah, so that's sick that we're over there. I can't believe it that we're in different countries. Why? It just blows. That's where we thrive. The U.S. But, hates us. But I, I find it very weird because, uh, like, remember when we found out. That we shout had, out Hamburg. Hamburg. <laughs> shout out Romania with the oh, Dracos. Romania is the original. But when we found that out, I was like, how does the internet work? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is going on? Because in America, because we have like Facebook and like Instagram and all that shit, and it's a very closed thing. Our circle then grows from that. If you're in Romania, you have no idea who the fuck this is. You're like, you fucked it. Okay. Like, Dude, you, have to, you have to find They still have if like, you're in Instagram Ro- and Facebook. I know they do, but what I'm saying is you have yeah, to search. Yeah, they have the internet. You got to <laughs> search for us. In in America, it's we're easier to find. I would think in 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 Romania, they're yeah. Like, there's not many too many selfies going on over there. They're like help, help. <laughs> they call them helpies. <laughs> I'm taking a helpie. Oh God! <laughs> You're blindfolded. There's a gun to your head. Like come on. They're like it's always night. <laughs> Why is it God always damn night it. here? Well, uh, yeah. Because think about it, you live in Romania. What do you want to listen to something called the Joe Rogan yeah, experience? I, I did, no, that's dude. what I mean. It's like there's so nothing that, against Rogan, but that, it's like they see you fucked it. And they're like, yeah, I did. That was the also My whole the, fucking family. Dude. That's also the other point I was making with the the sea of comedy out there. Yeah. I would figure that overseas are like it would be like okay, here's the top of the list uh, of things you can choose, and like yeah, I'll take out of the 900 that are available now. You fucked it's got to be all the way into, like, a different region of things. Yeah, it's like, in Romania. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. They're like, You'll well, never find it there. <laughs> like, all you, all you get is you fucked it. Like, that's you it. You can't have any of this. They're you like, do you want to upgrade your cable to you fucked it? <laughs> that's all we get over. That sounds pretty good, actually. <laughs> is that you can pay the $5 tier to Shockwave's that's, Elite? Dude, that's fucking... Romania seems like a country where Shockwave would retire. I honestly... <laughs> This is nice. This is like the brutal Romania. <laughs> this is pretty you good. Crush there, dude. The dark one in <laughs> in you Romania. Fuck Dracul's <laughs> off. But get out. They're like, look, we were worshiping the undead. Turns out a robot showed up. <laughs> this thing don't fuck around. Uh, it's pretty crazy. It, dude, it, he looks like a Romanian, like a castle. Dude, if fucking shockwave, <laughs> he's like doing his thing. Yeah, if you put on a cloak, is that thing part of him? That snake. That, like, no, that's see, that's a newer, that's a newer. Form oh, they just added that. Okay, yeah, they, yeah. That. they churched him up for fucking generation. That's one. not that's not my shock that's wave. my shockwave gen, gen one, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. dude I, I was looking up footage for him for that little video I made, and dude, there's some gay shit out there. What? <laughs> there's like weird the like cartoons that have taken on the Transformers at certain times. Oh my god, dude! Yeah, it's dude. like there's one that's like anime where he's like running and like, "Hello, I'm Shockwave." I'm yeah, like, oh what yeah, the they fuck? they do like I mean Transformers branched out super super hard, and I think yeah. that like I think every voice is Mark Hamill. <laughs> oh, Mark Hamill's probably got a lot. Do you imagine? Running, there's no way I could do voiceover work with that guy. Have you ever seen him do like the Joker? In, oh yeah, while he's doing, but in, he's like, <laughs> yeah, his dude, face what is, is wrong? Wild. It's like a fucking Asian porn star. Dude. He's just like, I'm the Joker. <laughs> Come on, Batman. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, whoa. It's like Mark, relax, Marcus dude. Hamill, please. <laughs> Please stop. Shout out the Legion of Skanks for showing their ass last night oh, on the man. court. Eleven nothing. You fucking losers. That's got to be a hard one. To it follow. was two on two. Yeah. So because Dave didn't show, Dave didn't so show Tommy up. didn't play. So it was Matt Shane. Which what, I think wait, did, did Tommy? Did he show up? Did Tommy come? Yeah, up? Tommy showed. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. I think so. I mean, I don't know. I didn't see. Gardini and Burke were taking um, footage. Soda was commentating. <laughs> God, I got to hear that. He's probably like, well, this sucks. <laughs> One of the worst uh, games I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I saw some of the footage. Well, but... I also saw some of the stills, and the stills are hilarious. I like how there was, like, a camp going on behind Everybody. Them. <laughs> the fucking YMCA. Dude. There's a CYO link going on behind them. Every one of the stills looks like everyone has special needs. 
Every one of them, like the one where McCusker's arm is down and Shane's like, they're not great. <laughs> st- like they, they just are. caught them at wrong, you yeah, know. Dude. Like, dude, I of all the pictures good. from last night at Going to Hell. Shout out to people who came out to Going to Hell and all the comics. It was a Hell great yeah, show, dude. amazing show. Uh, I was going through some of the stills that Jordan had taken, dude. There's one of McKeever that I think we're just going to use every every month for it, dude. I said I sent it to John. I texted. Him. I said, hey, thanks again for coming through last night. Also, we're going through still going through all the footage. But this one picture I had to send it, and he is dying. But if you look at it, it's great until you focus in. Focus in on it. <laughs> right? I'll Dude, put this on I'll put this on live. Photoshop a 70-year-old man boy. Doesn't he look like he's explaining how he fingered a 70-year-old <laughs> yeah. whore? Man whore? Seriously. He's like, look, all right, I do. <laughs> Just like that's what I mean. Like that's the same Look, thing with the, like, the basketball. Officer, game. there's a thing. Well, no, that, that, there was great pictures. Yeah, it was this great. This is a really good one of you and Ian. I think this is him trying to tell you about uh, his monologue. <laughs> which <laughs> shout out Ian and his monologue because Ian had to do a definitely a Golden Globe winner in the future. Uh, with I walked now. out to it. It was in the alleyway. How was it? I got. I Were meant, you like, sucked I in? opened the door. But I couldn't open the door. They were filming right there. I said, I don't know. I told him to do it in the office, whatever. It took him like five minutes. Um, he was in the zone. Though. Yeah, I, I mean, he was very method. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Saying a lot of slurs, that guy. Oh, man. man the off, the off-camera takes were the real ones. He was pretty good. I was sucked in. I was like, you're like a real cop. <laughs> you're like a real white cop. No, he's every accountant in the 80s. <laughs> Dude, he's definitely Sean Penn from Carlito's Way. Always. Without he's always. Been. But his hair was bigger when he was in Philly. I remember thinking that. I was like, are you going for like. <laughs> what are you trying to do? What is that? <laughs> do you have a boat where you're trying to get rid of bodies on? <laughs> are you going to kill some mafia what guy in the harbor? Yeah. I, I've always said that. Or like Gene Shallot's son. <laughs> he looks like he fell out of Gene Shallot. He does look a little shallot Um Shit. What was I bringing up that? I forget. I don't know. I feel hungover, but I'm not. I didn't really even drink last night. Yeah, I, you said you had a he- uh, headache. I got a right fucking bat, vicious dude. headache right in the middle of it, dude. <clears throat> That's because you're drinking those fucking. Vodka I know sprites. vodka sprites. You dude, need to stop with that. I am. It's really it's just that that bar, that fake soda bullshit yeah. is disgusting. I also think it's because you're a weed guy now, and now you're more of a weed guy than you are a vodka sprite guy. And I think the vodka sprite striking back, striking back at you. Good weed last night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a dad at a steak joint. Good steaks tonight. <laughs> Potatoes were good. <laughs> That's good weed, though. Billy, you get that baked potato. <laughs> My dad would get hyped for a baked potato, dude. He does. Dude, My dad I, gets hyped for food. You know, I've seen Tom used to get hyped for blooming onions. Really? He used to think they were the pinnacle of fu- like. That's any- upper class for a guy like Tom, dude. If I mean, you the Outback, that's might as well be at the fucking Four Seasons. Onion in front of Tom Shannon was like, you brought him beluga caviar. He <laughs> was the like, three wise men putting gifts upon He's his like, feet. Wait a minute, Frank. What am I, Jesus? And Mar- <laughs> Hello. Dude, he was like, oh, man. Dude, he would look at it and be like, look at that, man. You see oh that? yeah! Like I can't believe we came up with that. That's their own personal Instagram. <laughs> it's not a lie. God, dads will just stare at like a oh, good yeah, grill. Dude. That not a not a cell phone, not a picture. Just like looking. No, like, they God, can't take pictures of that man. shit. They get their ass whooped. They it's do like, that. Holy shit, man! He My dad lays out a grill. My dad will lay out a grill, and if you fuck with it, he goes nuts. Man. I cannot tell you how many times I hear, leave me alone, when he's there. Yeah, my dude, mom, he's my, that's when every mom, especially my mom, decides to talk to him about the dumbest shit in the world. I'm like, why are you doing this? You know he's fucking going to get pissed. And you start him with him. The minute the meat hits the girl, she's like, Marty, where do you say? I don't fucking. It's like, here we go. Can you see? Can I, you dude, see what I, I'm doing? I gave up on that shit. They just, yeah, my dad stayed away from grills ever since he lit his hair on fire during the grill. <laughs> It's like, now right, a lot of gas on here, but I add lighting fluid. (laughs) (laughs) Also, I like to take, I siphon gas. My dad was one of those guys that never, he would like crank the propane and be like, oh yeah. Yeah. He'd be like, it's not working yet. It's not working yet. (laughs) Just like lean over and he's like, (laughs) My dad used to always do charcoal, but then he got gas. He still, I mean, he still uses... You know, I mean, my but, dad was one of those guys that, like, he don't get me wrong, he, he did he would, like charcoal. Though. He would not nose up to charcoal, but he, my dad, was like blown away by innovation. 
Oh yeah. He was like gay as grills. He's like outside. You see this? Like fucking the gay natural. This thing gas got a burner on the side. <laughs> he is, like, I'm, soup. I got soup going. <laughs> He's like, what are you saying? It's, like, it's like I mean, it's just a bunch of ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> tomato soup. Tomato soup. That's haunts. <laughs> I'll tell you. Make sure your mother knows. You know, I've done some stuff. He's like, this isn't grandpa. She can't say I haven't done anything for my kids. You know, I get them haunts. This, this is packets. This is gourmet. Taste that. That's good. Haunts. That's pure, dude. <laughs> but I honestly think when he would see food, like he was blown away by like just food combinations you could get like anytime we portions didn't know, are a big thing for the old guys he was just like what the fuck dude <laughs> <laughs> like honestly what the fuck? when stuffed crust pizza came out he was like what the fuck how the hell they think of that he's dude. like what cheese in a crust you ate it back dude he was one of those dads in the commercial like if you ate a pizza backwards like wait a minute <laughs> what's he skateboarding one day he's like what dude he literally was like, "What are you eating?" That One fat? of these, mom. Dude, he's like, "Wait a minute!" He's like, "What?" Because he would never eat the crust. He would get the crust. And he was like, Stop. "Oh, it was cheesy." Right? So like, but if you ate it back, he's like, "Wait a minute!" He's like, "What's this? the hell's going on?" Hey, wait a minute, who the fuck made this pizza? <laughs> what kind of witches they got a pizza hut right yeah, now? It's not your dad's out there doing like a restaurant connoisseur. <laughs> yeah, no, he just bl- blown away by like uh, fast Tom's food. Here, he reviews for McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's, he's like, like, "Right, I got a blend." So here's the thing. So this is your presentation. <laughs> that all is that two meat patty special sauce. <laughs> yeah, dude. This is at a Seven <laughs> Eleven. Like, yeah, opening mean, up ham sandwiches. It like, was mm. it was pretty funny because like he was also another guy who's like blown away by like candy, and he is he, he did say this one time, and I do agree with him. I think he's like two things that I think the that if aliens came to Earth. Two things they'd be blown away by is, like, our amount of, like, he's like, porn is everywhere. Also, our amount of candy. Yeah. He's I like, mean, we have so much candy. He's like, it's all crazy. He's like, it's like, what the fuck's this about? Like, he was just so blown away by, like, concoctions that people it's like, make. It's something that I don't think I'd ever be blown away by. Oh, ever. dude. He was just like, you see this fucking thing, man? He's like, got, like, a thing within that. Chewy sweet tarts. <laughs> Rails. The they start out as hard candy. I think I've so- seen everything. <laughs> it's like what? <laughs> Just what I thought I knew. Stuff everything. like that will blow their fucking dude, minds. Old dudes get fucking. They're like, "What the fuck is this now?" Yeah. Dude. Well, they stick with what works. Yeah. He also like. I mean, even that's it. Even like the pump. He was also blown away by the pump. What, like the, the, the Reebok sneaker. Pump? The Reebok. Oh, he was yeah. like, "What the fuck is?" My this? dad hated him. My dad was like, "Look at this fucking what, scam." He hated him. Hated them. Hated them, legitimately was like bullshit shoes. Nah, dude. And I'm, I, I was like, relax. I mean, I know he's like, what do you need a puffed up tongue for? What the fuck's that gonna do? I'm like, I, I don't care about these shoes. I don't know why you're talking. Like I'm hanging out with them after my school, dad, smoking my dad was cigarettes. Like, he's like, look, the thing is, you pump it up, it gets tighter. You can probably shoot basketballs better. That's what's <laughs> in the commercial. Why would they lie to you? My yeah. dad believed commercials. I wanted to get the let's Michael- just put it that way. Yeah. Believed everyone when the when the pumps hit and you know there was like only like three or four of them and then they kind of exploded like that next year the ones I was going to get just to be a dick were the Michael Changs or was it Chung he was a tennis player it was okay the, there was Reebok if you look they him up it's Michael for tennis oh yeah Michael Chang Whoa. I believe was he was a tennis player he was good in the, like the nineties and he was like with Agassi and then okay. on Nike he got a shoe I believe I think it was him he definitely wore them but the the uh, the tongue was a tennis ball instead of a oh, basketball. Look at that, dude, that's fucking. And that's I was going to get him just to piss dude. my dad off. Like that would drive him. He's like, "You don't even play tennis, <laughs> dude." It, I'm like, "Well, I can't. I just wear them." I mean, that would have been, dude. You could do that with a baseball too, man. They probably did. They probably I'm did. Sure. And yeah. that's the thing. Like I remember, like my dad would see things and inc- like be like, "We want that." He's like, "Yeah, man." It's like, "Well, I mean, it's just very expensive right now." I mean, I don't know if we can afford that, but they that were is, expensive as fuck, though. They're the fucking they pinnacle. Were, of shoe technology at the time that's I mean, what he, they were I fucking mean, huge it he was insane. honestly thought that like that's what i mean my dad yeah. believed commercials we were on the verge of there you go damn those, yeah, are, those are sick though <laughs> yeah yo that fucking orange one or they might or they might are they for michael chang or whatever his name was yeah or? michael chang yeah that's what i thought damn dude there's other, i know there's other ones too i'm pretty sure there was like a purple and pink one i'm talking like Early nineties. That oh, would have shit. crushed. Is that orange, that, that orange and blue one. That's two tone on the sole there. Yeah, that's sick. Mm-hmm. 
That is pretty nice. I don't even like shoes, but that's dope. Yeah. Yeah, I always liked them. And Dave, I don't know if you'll be able to find them, but um, who had them? This kid I knew um, that went to my mom's school, and then he came back as like an intern or, yeah. or a student teacher, and he was a big tennis guy, and his this dude named Ross, and he fucking had them, but he had them in like purple and teal, yeah. you know, this dude, his he was loaded. What nice guy, and I was like, those are sick, and that's what the ones I wanted to get. And he was, I, like, I was like, where'd you get them? And he was like, he's like, you know what? It's crazy. I had to get my buddy who works at Foot Locker had the special order on, but he was like, yeah, dude, if you want them, I can give you his number. I was like, yeah, totally. I'm like fucking fourteen, and I'm like yeah, trying to hang. I'm like totally. He's like, yeah, they're like one eighty nine. You know, shipping's like forty. I was like totally. What's yeah, the number? <laughs> I might have to move some things around. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's say Tuesday. My check will hit like Thursday. <laughs> you spot me? I just steal his and run. How do you feel about you know just no money down now? That's but fucked up. Then- that kid actually super rich, privileged, nice kid. Um, him and his brother Drew were all still fucking. <coughs> he was a kid who got um, tennis scholarship to Penn. Damn. And fucking blew it. Yeah, because of crack. Yes. And then he got on heroin, OD, and died. Awesome. Didn't even finish school. Damn, that's it was like game. insane. This dude went down this route because he was like a—he's one of those older kids. When you met him, like he was intimidating because he was so laser focused on yeah. fucking. Like this dude's like got a sick car for the time. He's going to pen. He's got all these chicks. He's playing tennis. He's a responsible kid. Like he's an adult. You're like, Whoa, I gotta fucking you know. I'm, I'm got back here wearing real, a Falcons they got bandana. Real, real adult. <laughs> I'm like, is this kind of like a bandana thing? Because I wore my do rag. <laughs> Do I need to rag it up? I never do get ragged, dude. What's this gala? Like a rag or no rag? <laughs> <laughs> You're pointing your head like, no, no. I mean, whatever. I'll keep, I'll keep it on me. In case I need it. I might. Yeah, need but it. he went down. And I saw his brother years, years later, randomly, um, like in Philly somewhere in Center City. And Damn, dude. We were bullshitting. I was like, yeah, dude. I heard about your brother. It's crazy. He's like, yeah, dude. It's like, it was quick. It was like in a matter of like six months. Smoke. Crack will do that. At, dude, at like some stupid. You know what's funny yeah. is, um, he was there when he when he was like a senior. Uh, Ivanka was a freshman because oh, he knew her. Oh, that's awesome. And I always thought he fucked her, dude. That he, this dude fucked every like good looking guy. Yeah, he's, man, he's the, a tennis player. Right? Tennis guy, yeah, yeah. He crushed totally. tennis players. Fucking crush too. <laughs> that's at the ten, other thing at too. Ivy League, yeah, dude. <laughs> We be fucking cleaning up stuff. There. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> Literally, I need a broom and a butler. I'd be that fucking... dude, just like <laughs> mopping up. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yo, what's up, Scott? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be trying to get all the trickle down pussy. You guys partying tonight, like, I, dude? Up? I walk by. I don't know. It sounded dude, great. <laughs> I was gonna stop him. I don't know. The floor bumper, like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> yeah, I had my kid with me. I don't want. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. But yeah, is that your house? Guys, come on. <laughs> What's policy there? I'll you're pledge. The, you're still wearing the one piece jumpsuit. Like, yeah, what's going on, dude? Oh, like try lambs. What's up? <laughs> like, get out. I'll like, put a, I felt a thigh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me in, please. I just start trying. I'm like, dude, I put on meatloaf. Remember that, dude? <laughs> <laughs> you just died. You party and you're like, what's oh. <laughs> like, what wrong? Dude, dude I have like, a issue with this, dude. <laughs> all. All the times I walk by and I see college parties, I'm like, how crazy. Oh, I just man. Walked in. What are they going to do? So I'm just, if I just. One night, one night. Dude, we got to do it. We were playing cards at the old house. Sydney and Kyla went down. They were going to go down to the volleyball courts because they were getting sand for our buckets for smokes out front. Sick. And because uh, we, we, we didn't want to throw them, we were throwing them in the uh, street. No, I like got, you know how it was. Theft you, and health conscious. You remember? I appreciate and that. that, yeah, we were respectful. So. Uh, so he came back and was like, dude, there's like five, four, you know, because the frats are right here. Sure. So he was like, dude, there's like five houses in a row. They're doing the rush week, whatever. And I was like, why the fuck don't we just walk in there? And McCusker, I think Ken, because I don't think he was in a frat, but he, I know he's, I think he knows someone well enough to where like. Sure. But if it's a party, I remember like when Sean was at Temple. Yeah. And there would be parties. We, I would just go with him. No one ever questioned if I went. To sometimes I'll ask like, you have to be Greek. <laughs> I remember they told me that the first time I tried to walk in, they're like, you had to be yeah. Greek. And I was like, my name's fucking, you know, Nikos Papadopoulos. I was going to say, my, get out of my, way. my name is John Stamos. I I'm just like Greek. made him smell my arm, but it stunk. <laughs> it's like, Dude, bro. You show up with a white beater and a large and like, yeah. no, I'm know. like, yeah, shout out. Athens. Although I have no money. <laughs> I am broke. They're like, what's your name? I'm like, Brian, Brian Poseidon. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Zeus Poseidon. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm Ryan. You might have heard of my uncle. I don't know. I'm Ryan Atlantis. <laughs> you know who I am. <laughs> That's Danny Cleopatra. <laughs> don't ask. He's minotaurded. <laughs> He's <laughs> <right>. be butterly. <laughs> Watch out now. Yo, cockamamie. <laughs> Um, Dude, I all it, every time I see a party, I'm like, I could. I wonder you how. Could. I wonder how long I could last walking in there. Just like be like, Yo, what's up, dude? Where's Jake at? I don't know. If I had a thirty rack under my arm, be like, Yo, <laughs> that's all you had to do. It's just seriously yell I just, with beer in your hand. No one's gonna be like, Get out. I'm just like, Yo, what's up? <laughs> if I got busted for under like, serving <laughs> minors. Just like. I wish you were How awesome with that. Baby. You're sitting on the porch with a bunch of girls and like my dad's gonna kill me and he's dead. <laughs> I was telling Julie, them, it's gonna be all right. I'm like, so you're, they can't they, arrest you. So you're thing, you're gonna get out. Hey, in my the real first world. rodeo, babe. You're gonna get out in the real world. And you're gonna realize that you know it ain't all butter gum drops, dude. What? <laughs> like one of you are gonna have to bail me out. <laughs> so here's the thing, Nancy. <laughs> Was it? I don't, I don't know. Kimberly, whatever. Shut up. You have the beautiful heart. <laughs> I was like, tell. yo, I uh, sent you a request to follow on Instagram. <laughs> what are you on, Snapchat? <laughs> I got to sign up. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I had an account. Are you on Signal? <laughs> are you? Or, or, it's going to uh, take up my, my data? Yeah. yeah I'm gonna... <laughs> Dude, I got a flip phone. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> Hold on a sec. Is this on? <laughs> Goddamn thing. Goddamn things get smaller and smaller. <laughs> like, what is that? Oh, the glasses dropped to the bottom of the Dude, nose. that's fucking sick, man. Yeah, no, you could just walk in. I think about it. A lo- anytime I see and hear a party, I'm like, man, I wonder how long it would take for them to be like, what the fuck are you doing here? I'd be like, I, I mean, I'm right. technically enrolled in Temple. Does that mean <laughs> I can just pledge? No, uh, it just means you can beat up kids. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it means you can go. <laughs> can, to technically, you can kill someone. Yeah, <laughs> you can do that. They'll let you run. But I, I honestly, yeah. I mean, we'd probably go to a temple party. If we just showed up on like, I don't know. I want to move my whole family into the frat house. One by one, that'd be sick. <laughs> you should. Be like, who's that? It's like, that's King Danny. He's been here for years. I would laugh because if you two hustles walked into a frat party, you would immediately just hit the corner and do you'd play the wall just staring like so What are no, you looking at? No nah, man, if I was if I was still drinking, I would get in there hard as well. Yeah, oh, you'd make an asshole out of yourself. I mean I would I think you'd do better not, without drinking because you're conscious and like you could fuck with them better instead of trying to be relate with them because you're drunk. Yeah, I guess. Fuck so. with them because you're sober. <laughs> but I still tell them nightmare drunk stories. <laughs> but yeah, here's the thing: you guys think that you uh, you never wake up with you a ever fucking... eat metal. <laughs> it's not delicious. It's not as good as you think. I know. I was starving. So here's the thing: when you fall asleep in an open grave, <laughs> so you wake we, up. We rigged the microwave to stay closed with my head in it. <laughs> it is tough. It's wild. Let me tell you something: permanent marker does not come off of a dick. <laughs> it doesn't. All right, let's wrap this up. Not um, for a couple days. Could you guys? Sorry, uh, Shan just texted me. Uh, oh. If I see Shaner tomorrow, or side note, if you're going to see Shaner today or tomorrow, could you guys together or separate record a video wishing Lewis a happy birthday? I'm like. Happy birthday, Lewis. Turns out you're horrible at basketball. Dude, I'm just going to take a video of me pooping into a toilet. <laughs> Dude, I'm just going to videotape as an 80 year old and crap. I'm like, oh, <laughs> what was? Yeah, can you give my boy Lewis a shout out? I was going to go Dude, to truck stops and hang out. Let's find a homeless guy and be like, yo, can you give my boy Lewis a shout out? <laughs> Lewis. I'm like, also, can your crusty dick be out the entire time we filmed this? Oh, my God. Speaking of crusty dicks. <laughs> no, this actually happened. I was blow- talking about people being blown away by innovation. And my dad was being like, oh, yeah. man, I can't believe it. I saw this the other day. And I was like, how have other bums not? If another bum sees this, this is going to be the wave of the future for shitting in, bla- in bags. The way of the future? For shitting in bags. This bum, I was walking home and I saw him crapping into a pa- plastic bag. Now, every other time I've seen a bum crap into a, anything, they've been holding the bag like with the handles up against their ass and trying to poop into it. 
this guy had it the long ways with the open, like the handle resting on his dick and balls, and he had the other end up behind his back, and he was crapping into it long ways, and it was catching all of it. Long ways. <laughs> He's like, you see that? <laughs> That's pretty. Pretty smart. Tell me it. how fucking in. I was like, that is fucking genius, bum, dude. Yeah, like I was double like, double dare. I was like, wait a minute, do that again. I think you got something. <laughs> He's playing like three card Monty. He's like, stop that up. I was like, look, sir. See if you can find the turd. I think you might be a millionaire, and you don't even know it yet. You should definitely steal the patent for that, dude. That is, I wish that's so. Uh, to show you guys, I have a bag somewhere. <laughs> What are we talking? I, I'll, draw like, up a, I'll draw up a diagram. Okay. But I'm was, just telling it's you. It's just an old guy crapping. Them. It's like, so here but is. He was standing, and like every other time I've seen a guy crapping into a bag, they've tried to like yeah. hold it with two handles over their butt, and it never catches. It's just right. always out. This guy was holding it. The bag loop was on his dick and balls, like as like a shelf, and then he was pulling back and holding his hand up against. Dude, I thought you meant he was Superman. No, like on the nothing. <laughs> he's like, I'm flying. He's like, you see me now? I gotta fly when I crap, dude. But he was leaning. <laughs> Don't with cut leverage my wings. Up against the wall, holding the other hand back, and just like, dude, it was perfect. I was like, that yeah, is good for him. Way, dude. Also, it's like you don't have to look at people. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're facing away. If a cop ever saw it, he'd be like, look, sir. I mean, dude, dogs are depressed when they have to look at you when they crap. Oh, man. You ever Imagine call, being a human. You ever like, call a dog's name when they're crapping? Money. Yeah, it's horrible. It's funny as hell. Yeah, they're but it's like, you feel bad. I'm like, sorry, dude. I'm trying to get in your business, your poop's business. Like, come on. They're like, stop doing it, man. I'm like, you imagine how the sad face bums have to make. Like, if they think they're, I mean, a lot of them are nuts, so they don't care, but. The ones that are like trying to get it together, but they got crap outside still. But they get called like somebody's walking by, like I'm sorry. <laughs> they have to immediately apologize. Dude, they gotta be like my dignity, please. I'm like, they walk by, they're like, don't come in here. They're like, you're in the middle of Broad Street. <laughs> he's, he's, occupied. I was gonna say he's by the Liberty Bell. It's like occupado. <laughs> Excuse me. It's like you just crapped on a national treasure. <laughs> can't do that. Uh, he cracks the other side of the bell. <laughs> Dude, if he flipped the bell upside down and crapped in it. He's like, I just dung the bell. You know what I mean? I have a problem. <laughs> I could. That would be the best way to go to jail. What? <laughs> for defacing a fucking national park or a national crapping monument. It. For crapping a fucking bell. Dude, somebody duked on the Constitution. <laughs> <laughs> That's legendary. Duke-stitution, dude. What if they did that, uh, dude, when they raided or stormed the Capitol? Yeah, somebody duked. Somebody I said duked. that. I what said I'm that saying, before we found out. What I'm saying is someone that. got in and duked on the fucking Declaration of Independence. <laughs> that would have been wild, dude. Crapping anywhere serious is super <laughs> funny. Crapping anywhere serious. Like, dude, if I even went to an opera and had to crap, I'm like, this is hilarious. I've often asked, what are the toilets like at the Vatican? Could you imagine crapping hard Aren't at the Aren't they Vatican? like gold plated? I I don't know. <laughs> Nine-year-old boy's mouse. Dude. <laughs> Every toilet's got a camera in it. Oh, yeah. Like, they yeah, put dude, it in. We need to see that ass at the Vatican. <laughs> oh, dude. Dude, yeah. could you imagine clogging a fucking Pope toilet? Dude, if you clogged at the Vatican, that would be fucking hysterical. I'm out like, look, guys. Yeah, dude. I, the steam starts coming up. Like, this a, they elected a new Pope. You're like, nah, somebody clogged. <laughs> no, I fucked up. The third floor bathroom. <laughs> you have to come out and be like, excuse me, sir. <laughs> Do you know where the janitor is? Like, Grazi Padre, I think I fucked. Yeah, or even there. Yeah, you know I mean, you mean? need the Roto-Rooter, the power of Christ. I don't know. <laughs> Compels you to get that toilet. Oh, man. Dude. I crap and anywhere serious is funny. It's so funny, dude. If you clogged at <laughs> God damn it. At the Louvre or something. Yeah, dude, clogging the Louvre. Just in the bed to me here's some dude like, no, 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 no. <laughs> He's like, Mona Lisa. Then that's when you have to run out like next yeah. to the Mona Lisa and be like, hey, what's that? He's like, what? <laughs> is it stinking here? Does that water come out of the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, like, who did that? Oh my god! You come out like Jim Carrey and Ace, <laughs> dude, or fucking up real hard at Stonehenge. Everyone's just like, "What is dude, it?" Like, yeah, have you duked on one of the stones? <laughs> I didn't see a toilet. 
<laughs> Dude, that'd be like Ozzy when he pissed on the Alamo. He was just like, yeah. I thought it was a wall. I didn't know what I was yeah, doing. Yeah, hasn't he been like recorded? Uh, and he's talking yeah. about like, I had no idea. Like, he didn't Ozzie do it. He was so fucked up. He said, he's like, I don't even remember being here. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, I had to pee. I found an old building and I peed on it. It's like, yeah, that's exactly what you did. Also, I mean, I get it, but was it like a 10 year ban? He's banned for 10 years, yeah. And then he came back and, and came, walked and that and joint. Walked the- <laughs> Yeah, dude, thanks, Rex. Immediately got airheads for that. That's what we should review. We should review That's fucking, fucking airheads, dude. Idea. Airheads rules. Airhead <sighs> does rule. Dude, for the longest time. Get on the ground now, yeah. please. Thank you. <laughs> like, I'm not scared, dude. I used to have that as my voice Your nudges dick. going out. It's like, my dick. I'm going to stab your heads off with what? My dick. <laughs> the blood's going to come out of your heads. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it because I'm a mad man. <laughs> <laughs> and I had that as my outgoing voice nudges thing. And my mom was like, Ryan. You know what's funny? Your work call. Out of those three. Uh, the only one that I could see past as like a late '80s, early '90s rocker that even was Buscemi. He, yeah, dude, Rex. he's ugly as sin. Dude, he looks exactly how he sounds. All of them. He's Out like, what's his name? Like one of my brothers is that about the lead singer of uh, Journey. Oh, Steve Perry. No. Uh, yeah, that's Journey. What's the other one? Who else am I thinking of? Fucking uh, not Journey. Fucking. <laughs> Yeah, Steve Perry. Stuart, Steve Steven Perry. Steven Tyler? Not Steven Tyler. Uh, Rush. Oh, Getty Lee. My brother always says, he's like, dude, it, you don't even, I could draw Getty Lee from his voice. Oh, dude. <laughs> he just looks exactly how he sounds. And I saw a picture. I was <laughs> Getty Lee is a terrible looking man. Dude. I mean, he got <laughs> named after say, a gas station. Getty, dude. <laughs> he got named after a gas station. <laughs> his brother, Sonoko, is a real piece of shit, too. Dude. <laughs> Shell. Don't even get me started or... on Cumberland Farms. <laughs> oh my god! See what a terrible. That's Tom man. Sawyer, dude. <laughs> dude. dude. Yeah, he looks like Raspola's dad. <laughs> I mean, dude. I, don't get me wrong. I like Rush. Yeah, dude. Like, Rush I like right, but I mean, Rush could you good. imagine fucking? He, yeah, it's one of them. That's Cliff Burton and Getty Lee. Yeah, isn't he dead? Cliff Burton's dead as hell. Yeah, what was he? Helicopter. Crash or no, a bus crash. <laughs> Something a Comanche, I think. I was like, you think Kobe Bryant? <laughs> Look at that picture, dude. That is, dude, that is the voice. Dude, of there my... is there is nothing I've wanted more in my God life than a, than a double guitar because I have no idea how to play guitar. But Look at it's Getty it. Images, dude. Yeah, dude, <laughs> Getty Lee. <laughs> what if he owned Getty? Images? Dude, he's, he's like, like, look, yeah. I don't even need Rush. They told me I just own pictures. <laughs> Oh, look yeah. at that bass funny got the cover there, dude, dude. Look at the cover of Bass <laughs> Yeah, Bass Magazine. Bass uh, magazine. Oh man. Look how boring that magazine is. It's like, yeah. dude, the uh, guy who created the Seinfeld song. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, it's three pages. Getty Lee kind of looks like a Dracul. Oh yeah, he's he's definitely he Dracula. kind of looks like Gary Oldman in fucking dude. Uh, if if he Dracula. came out and just leaned into looking like Dracula, he's like, yeah, he never addressed it. He's like, yeah, what's up? I'm surprised his his name's not Getty Stroker. <laughs> Stoker? No, Stroker. Because <laughs> he looks like he'd be a vampire, but like porn. <laughs> That's a good name for him. If he was Bram a vampire Stroker. Porn. Yeah, Getty Stroker. <laughs> That guy's dude, he fucks. I'm Getty Stroke. Yeah, dude, that's the name I would use to get into one of those house parties. Getty like, Stroker. <laughs> I'm Getty Stroker. <laughs> I'm here to pledge. <laughs> Let me in. I smoke cigarettes without filters. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's up? Getty Stroke. Call that couch. <laughs> yeah, you, you crash in there? I'm crash. Whose jacket? Mine. <laughs> You know, the crop jean jacket? Like, what's up? Right, let's wrap this up, dude. What's, what's uh, coming up? Uh, what is coming up? When was go? What's today? Jesus, what's today? Wednesday? Thursday? Wednesday. Wednesday. Dude, I lost track of the days super hard. I didn't Wednesday. even know yesterday was Tuesday. This will be out Friday. Friday, okay. Friday. So, all right, cool. Yes, because next week, got some stuff dude, going on, you got on, some nocturne, yeah. dude. Yeah, dude, but I got, well, now I got Seller on Monday, Jay Show. Boom. Uh, Tuesday is at Helium. Oh, what? Fuck. What year is it? Oh, here we go. Yeah, Solo Show, um, Monday. Uh, Showcase at Helium on Tuesday. Knock on Wednesday. Nocturnal. 
What's the showcase at Helium? The homegrown thing? That best of Philly oh. album recording thing. It's whatever. Oh, and uh, <laughs> then Thursday, I'll be up at the old, because I had bail, unfortunately, on, uh, on Gardini's show, which sh- you should go. It's, it's, gonna be, it's a good lineup. I call him stepping in. What, for you? Yeah. I okay. call him going in, and uh, also, so is, what's his name? Uh, fucking, Jesus, I'm looking right at him. Uh, Toby from Are You Garbage. Oh, sick. Yeah. Um, and that's on Friday. You're not going. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because I'm doing the old classic Harrisburg comedy zone. Look at you, dude. You're in the zone. <sighs> I don't want to be in the zone. Why did you agree? Home. Because it's fun as fuck. Yeah, we well, have a blast. Why, it's just that dude? place is wild, dude. It's it's oh, wild. It's zone. Any place that has zone attached to it, you know it's crazy. Ugh. Yeah. Twilight Zone. I mean, Discovery dude, we zone. always have fun. I mean, they, both the shows are. He's only doing one night with two shows, and they both sold out already. It's always good because his family will come up, his, his friends yeah. he doesn't get to see. So it's going to be awesome. We know a lot of them. So, in, uh, yeah, shoot's coming up, and Fuck yeah, it'll be good. Dude. And then Friday, we hit the dirt track. Dude. The old, I thought whenever, the outlaws were in town. So whenever you guys, like, I've never been up that way yeah, to see that. That's but Friday. whenever you guys do that. Yeah, I know. I need to go because I want to do a demolition. If they ever have it, I'll I don't think buy they do there. That's that's Danny, drift. Dude. That's 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 the uh, sprint cars. Danny, how many times have we talked about doing a fucking? Why have you not talked to fucking? Why have you talked to none okay, about this? None did a documentary. Because he did a documentary, and when he was talking about, it, I did talk to him about it. Does he and know any around here? I have no was idea. Was he out in like fucking Kentucky or yeah, some dude. shit? I was looking into it for a little bit. Is that like, out? That fucking... documentary? Did he? Zig? He did do part. He released some remember, footage yeah, of it. And he, he released some stills that I saw. So I don't know if it's actually done. If I see him, I'm going to ask about it. I was always curious about that. That yeah. seemed really interesting to me because I know none's a nut job that probably like really got good. Oh, my God. Like, I know he dude, he backed yard, ra- Kentucky fucking He was dead. inside a car. Dude. That's great. <laughs> like, so that's. I expect yeah. no less than an honor to I The other the day, day like, <laughs> I watched a uh, fucking, and I'm so glad they're bringing it back, uh, uh, figure eight racing. They br- they brought that that back in America. They outlawed it for a while, oh, all right. and they were doing it the other day with figure eight truck trailer racing, which is fucking whoa, dude. So it's Where's like this? what part of Florida? This was in fucking uh, Montana. Mm-hmm. They were doing a figure eight track, but there was a truck hauling like a camper, and it was like seventeen of them going around in this figure eight, dude. That's sick. fucking so good. That's funny. Just yeah. mind numbingly stupid, but so good. Yeah, uh, the race is on Friday, which is weird. Cause I always thought it was on Saturday, but. My outlaws aren't in town, which is gay. It's just regular sprint day, but it'll be good. Maybe we'll see somebody die. Yeah, you might, dude. Last two times I've gone, I've not. I've been. I thought I was the mush. First two, I did. I was two for two. I didn't see the first one. The first one, we didn't even that, get in dude. because the guy had died before we even pulled in. They like, wouldn't. They they were. And they continued happened. on with the race. No, no, they stopped oh, the races oh, okay. immediately. I was yeah, gonna yeah, say, get over. On. That'd be fucked up. That would be so great though. Like, look, the show has got to go. <laughs> a couple guys like, I mean, I drove from Delaware. <laughs> They're like, look, we understand, we respect. God, the races, prayers, prayers to his family. Over there, where there might be a race. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I, I am know. jammed up the next couple months. I don't know when I can get back out of here, and my car is attuned up. Here's the thing, I. Spent Spent a lot of money on it. And let's all agree, <laughs> guy was kind of an asshole. Am I right? I'm sorry. Who was I'll it? say it. Who was it? Yes, young guy. Did he owe you money? Sorry. <laughs> he had this like, look, I thought the fuck Do you know how many parts he didn't get back to me, dude? I lent him a goddamn muffler one time. He wasn't going to do the race. <laughs> so he goes, like, he's a rat. His whole family is full of rats. <laughs> he's spider, dude. Yeah. <laughs> they kill him. Like, fuck that guy. <laughs> I mean, dude, he would have done it to himself either dude, way. God rest his soul, though, dude. So, yeah, come to any of that stuff. And then, uh, uh what else? That's good, right? Yeah, dude. Yeah, good. All right.